Raul Perez coming at you. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about movement-based songwriting. For all you friends out there that wanna be songwriters or that are songwriters and you struggle, struggle with being inspired, you struggle with writing verses, you get stuck writing a second verse, all that stuff, move around. Whether it's moving around your house or moving around in your backyard, your front yard, going for a walk, going for a stroll, whatever, even for me, going for a drive in the car. Movement helps a lot if you're trying to put your ideas together. So that's what this is about, movement-based songwriting. <laughs> I'm gonna break down the songwriting into smaller ideas. So your intro can be four bars. This is in four, four time. A bar has four beats in it. The number eight is really special in songwriting. Our verse is going to break down into either 8 or 16 bars. So this all depends on you. Our chorus is going to break down into 8 bars. Okay, so you have 4 bar intro, 16 bar verse, and an 8 bar chorus. And this will repeat. So in its simplest form, your second verse would be 16 bars, your second chorus would be 8 bars, and then your outro would be 16 bars. And you notice the outro is twice as long as the chorus. The easiest way to write a simple song would just be to repeat your chorus twice here as the outro. So that's a, a structure for putting a song together. So you break down songwriting process into that structure. Make sure you have movement when you're, when you're coming up with ideas for your, uh, your rhymes and for your lyric. Use rhymebrain.com as a rhyming dictionary to help you with rhymes. For your rhyme structure, you're gonna have four lines in your verse, for example. And this line will rhyme with this line. This rhyme doesn't, this line doesn't rhyme. And then this line rhymes with this one. Can't get any easier than this, guys. Cat rhymes with bat, tree doesn't rhyme, and then hat rhymes with bat and cat. So that would be your rhyming structure, your rhyming scheme for your verses, okay? And you could actually use that same rhyming scheme for the chorus. Now, you're gonna choose a key. These are the most common keys, major keys. You're gonna choose a key, you're gonna choose a progression. One, six, four, five. So the chords would be C, A minor, F, G. Each chord, you're going to play it for two bars. When you get to here, you repeat. Okay? And this is the progression for the song Perfect by Ed Sheeran and hundreds, if not thousands, of other popular songs. I wanted to share this with you. A nice sunny day today. And we'll catch you on the next one. And share it with your friends. And comment if you have any questions. Okay, thanks a lot, guys. Peace. I'm out.